In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of the function f of x equals negative 8 times the square root of x minus 3 plus 9, where x is greater than or equal to 3. One of the things that's important to understand here is that when they say where x is greater than or equal to 3, all they're doing is they're telling us what the domain is to make it so that this problem is solvable. So it's not that you just ignore it, it's that you trust that they're telling you the thing that you need in order to actually do the problem. So when we're doing these, we do follow a few steps. Our first step is to replace the f of x with a y. So instead of writing f of x equals, we're going to write y equals negative 8 times the square root of x minus 3 plus 9. Now that we've done that, we can swap our x and our y, because remember, inverse functions mean we're doing the opposite. We're flipping our x and our y. So instead of y equals, we now have x equals. And instead of negative 8 times the square root of x minus 3, we're now going to have negative 8 times the square root of y minus 3. And we still have our plus 9. Now we need to solve for y to find the inverse function. To do that, we're always going to work from the outside in, which means we're going to start by subtracting 9 on both sides. So we do that minus 9. Now we have x minus 9 equals negative 8 times the square root of y minus 3. Again, we're working out to in, so we're going to get rid of the negative 8 next. To do that, since we're multiplying negative 8 by the square root, we'll divide by negative 8 on both sides. On the left side, that leaves me with x minus 9 over negative 8. On the right side, I have the square root of y minus 3. Now, it looks a little weird to have a negative in the denominator, but we leave it there for a moment just so that we can go ahead and do our next step because sometimes the negative will go away. And in fact, in this case, because I need to get rid of the square root next, I'm going to square both sides. Make sure you put both sides in parentheses before you square it to show that you're doing the entire side. Now, on the left, that's going to give me x minus 9 squared on the top. And on the bottom, when I square a negative 8, negative 8 times negative 8 is a positive 64. On the right side, my square root and my square have canceled and have left me with y minus 3. We just have one step left to get y by itself, and that's to add the 3 to both sides. So now we have x minus 9 squared over 64 plus 3 equals y. Now remember, the goal was to find the inverse function, and I'll write this up here at the top, um, because all we need to do now is write it instead of a y equals, we'll write it as f inverse equals. So f inverse of x equals, and we just write what we found when we solve for y, x minus 9 squared over 64 plus 3. And there we go. That is our inverse function.